How about this new studio, huh? Woo! We wanted to get an episode shooting sooner, but we got ransacked by a group of Proud Boys that mistaken the studio for the Capitol. Oh. I think we actually, I think we have a clip of that. Can we roll it? There's never a dull moment here at Crude. Anyways, tonight I share the stage with one of Hutch's most famous trios to ever get held at a gunpoint while on tour. But before that, let's get to some news, shall we? Hutchinson Library is slowly opening up to the public, but with eight areas still closed, curbside pickup is available to everybody except Stephen Pena. Oh. Shia LaBeouf was just hired to play Dale Earnhardt in the new biopic, Final Lap. When asked why he decided to go with Shia, the director simply stated he wanted an actor that was used to having a career that crashed and burned. <laughs> New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is under investigation for withholding information on coronavirus-related deaths. This action could ultimately strip his power and possible jail time. The state prosecutor said that the governor should just bend over and take his punishment like a man, and then immediately followed with, no Cuomo, no Cuomo. <laughs> to get ready for the holy season of Lent, the Salt City Cowboy Church released a statement on their Facebook page encouraging their parishioners to refrain from eating meat on Fridays and just stick with eating out their cousins instead. <laughs> Conservative radio talk show host Rush Limbaugh died at the tender age of 70 years old. To honor his legacy, his followers reportedly burned their crosses at half mass. <laughs> when asked why he let him suffer from cancer for so long, the devil simply answered with, what's the rush, am I right? <laughs> Trump was acquitted in his role of inciting the insurrection. After praising the decision, he said, this is just the beginning of my movement. Surely he means bowel movement. Every movement is a bowel movement when you're a piece of shit politician. <laughs> Ebling pool store is closed after a water pipe burst. We tried to get them on the phone to make a statement, but the lines were flooded. <laughs> A Hutchinson man was fined $1,200 for defecating in public at Cary Park. The judge promises that all charges will be dropped if next time he would just properly dispose of them in Cow Creek, where they belong. <laughs> During the 55th Super Bowl, a man in his mid-20s made a huge ass of himself when he got onto the field and tried to run down it. No, no. Not that guy. Wrong graphic. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy. They were drawing more flags than a racist getting a tattoo. <laughs> and that's it for Hutch News, but stay tuned. Duffy McGee is on right up next. Don't ever cancel one of these guys' shows last minute or else they'll piss on the side of your building. Please help me welcome Duffy McGee. Welcome. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. How are we today? Good. Very good. Um, uh, nice to have you on the show. First off, Josh, we've been looking all over for you. Yeah. We put your picture on milk cartons. We've sent smoke signals. We've done everything that we've got. I've been killing. For those who don't know, Josh used to be the uh, host of Goodnight Hutch before he was uh, before I was replaced uh, with him. Um, uh, it's been I've, it's been killing me trying to 
be funnier and more handsome than him, but I know that I'm better at tennis, so I got that <laughs> going for me. Um, but let's just jump right in. Uh, we'll start with having you guys introduce yourselves, uh, say what you do in the band, and then really quickly say your most embarrassing moment on stage. We'll start with you, Matt. Well, I'm Matt Partridge. I sing and play guitar. Um, most embarrassing moment was playing for kids at the old Hutch Mall movie theater, the one in the food court. <laughs> singing about drugs to a bunch of kids and their parents. Um, did not get asked He's back. now a father of three, too, so did it's not like get asked funny. Back. <laughs> my name is Mitchell Clausen. He kind of stole my embarrassing moment, but mine was Warren. <laughs> I thought I remembered us playing a pretty chill set with no drugs or anything like that, and then I watched some recordings later, and we had some nice songs at first, and then it kind of went just completely downhill from there. Amazing. Um, Josh? My name is Josh. Um, probably the most embarrassing. What do you play? I play banjo. Oh, okay. Probably uh, probably the most embarrassing moment that I had was when Matt and I got taken back to an old lady's house. <laughs> and she, uh, she really wanted us to come inside. <laughs> and no we pun did. intended. We, so we did. Because, you know, she's a kind old lady. And Hutch? <laughs> No, this is in Wichita. Okay. And uh, sure. she showed us pictures of like her family and stuff. <laughs> and we did everything that we could to kindly get the hell out of that place as quick as and, possible. And she saw you guys at a show? Yeah, yeah. Okay. She, we, she, she, what, she needed a ride or something? Or, yeah. yeah. More ways so like, more. hey, boys, I need a ride home. Could I? And we're like, yeah, what the fuck? Let's give you a ride home. That sounds extremely embarrassing. All right. Um, it, 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 it was more so if you had been there. It was just, it's like, why did Do you think we... she's still alive now? I think so. Okay, she so she wasn't that old. I'm trying to gauge, like, how old. No, no, she seemed like one of the barfly types, like, maybe. Yeah, it's uh, like postmenopausal. Uh, you know, <laughs> drawing yeah. social security yeah. benefits. Kind of yeah. sweet yeah. spot that we tend to get a lot of those kind of groups. Yeah. Typical Hutch groupie. Great answers. Um, so I, I try to do a little bit of research on you guys. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know um, the genre that you would consider yourselves, what would you say is your, how would you, if, for anybody that has never been to a show to experience Duffy McGee? Hmm. It's bluegrass. So they bluegrass. Can, they can say whatever yeah. they want. It's, that's what it is. No, no. It's uh, like shitty bluegrass. Cool. So that's the word I was Americana, looking for. Americana, shitty, Americana, sort of. trashy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All right. yeah. Um, and, and how many <laughs> albums do you have? I've probably asked at least 10 people. Nobody can uh, solidify a, an actual <laughs> number. Um, so we're really curious. And if you want to give any information on where to purchase those albums too, that'd be great. Mm. Is it three if, and a half? If anybody knows, I'd like to know. Hey, so buy a pack. <laughs> Thomas Dickey, we're, we're talking to you, bud. We made more cassettes than CDs for real. Um, and we maybe made four-ish we have, albums, we have, so to speak. Yeah, three and a half albums, I think, was what I counted. Three and a half albums. And I don't know if I'm... I don't know if... Uh, I don't remember that... Uh, the other day, I was in the yard, and I was trying to remember the names of the albums, and I could only come up with two. Well, so, that's, how, that's how memorable they are. Yeah. And you can't buy them. So if you find one, you better... Yeah, they're... Really please right. forward it to <laughs> Duffy McGee. Yeah, please. <laughs> in return. Little River, Kansas. A Hutchinson Relic. Return to sing. Um, so I was one of the lucky people. I would consider myself lucky back when I, you know, I was like 17, 18, that you got to see you guys when you were first starting out, you know, salad days, if you may. Um, and you've always had, you've always been much more about ha creating a fun experience. It's not always just about the music, which you guys are extremely talented at, of course, but the experience that you create for the crowd. <laughs> It's very <laughs> musical. It's very interactive. Make sure you guys check out a Duffy McGee show if it's if they're ever around your area. Uh, but they're very interactive with the crowd, and they definitely get you going on, on much more of just dancing. Um, so that being said, where do you get your creative process from, and where or your inspiration for you know your stage presence? I think it's just a coping mechanism of ours. Though I will say, everything we do, I think Josh would agree, stems from a. A true foundation in high school debate and forensics. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, more than you will ever true. realize, that <laughs> is true. And from there, um, it, the rest is coping. I mean, yeah. we figured out a long time ago, if you set the expectation as low as possible, it gives you the best chance to clear it. Um, but our songs are pretty personal, I would say. We try to keep the, the actual song material. I mean, we have songs about Hutch. 
It was songs about Jack Josh's alcoholism. Um, and we learned really quickly that people love it. Well, like if if we take it seriously, we're just going to have a bad time. Mm. It's not going to be fun for us, and so we um, we go out there to to like I genuinely enjoy playing music with them and mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. the most important thing to me so like there there have been many shows where no one was even paying attention and we still had a pretty oh, yeah. good time because we were friends playing music together mm -hmm. and that, that was okay that's it was super okay. important and, and i can i can totally relate to it all whether we're recording or playing or just, <laughs> just, just hanging just out like fun jamming just, yeah it's the ultimate goal i love it um, you've been around rather long. I correct me if I'm wrong, but 11 years, 12 years, 14 years. okay, 14 <laughs> years. Um, and so what's your secret to being able to stay together and be able to tough it out, uh, with each other this long? Good sex. <laughs> <laughs> being able to openly talk shit on your bandmates yeah. with All no repercussions. All in uh, different counties. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Matt keeps They're moving. all from Hutch, but no longer live in Hutch. Matt keeps moving farther and farther <laughs> away. And somehow he's still here. The um, let's see. Do you ever um, get any funny uh, responses to people when you tell them that you're from Hutch? Most, I'll be honest, up where, we, where I'm at, no one knows what Hutch is. Yeah, I'm sorry, they're... people of Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> I've, we've had a couple people where you say Hutch, and they're like, ugh. Oh yeah, and it's like, come on, man! You you don't even know what you're talking about. Um, what's one word of advice that you would give to a band that's just starting out with no fan base? Well, I don't know if we're the best people to ask. Um, of course you are. <laughs> get a job. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, yeah. Um, so Matt and I had this discussion a long time ago, and this is shortly after. Our good friend Adrian left the band. Shouts to Adrian. Yeah, we love you, Adrian. And um, and we were discussing. I think we were driving to a gig or something. We were discussing. Was that the driving to the pissing on the wall gig? No, it no. was just driving. Yeah, we were driving and uh, <laughs> we were talking like, what are we gonna do this? Do we keep doing this? And um, and I think I think I said. Like the the one thing that I think my dad told me was just like the secret to to the longevity was just don't stop. Like it do, like you don't have to be good. You do, and it doesn't matter if anyone fucking remembers you. Fuck them. Like if you like it, if you enjoy it, just keep fucking doing it. Mm -hmm. Just keep doing it. Because I mean, that's what what. This is every second that you're never getting right. back. Just run, go, right. go, do it. Yeah, go and a, it. a lot of times the toughest, and from personal experience myself, getting into like anything creative, like the hardest part has just been fucking starting. Yeah, you know. So I, oh, I, yeah. I think that's that's great. Um, what is your favorite place to perform besides Winfield? Because we know you love Winfield. Another place I was, have not been able to go yet. But The Rackham Up Club was pretty fun. It almost kind of felt like oh, yeah. the only it was experience hard. we it had was, where we were it like was, the it was and trash. that we were. That's a bar in Wichita. I, you know, I think a lot of my favorite shows are the places in totally out of nowhere Kansas spots. Dog's Dog. Yeah, or Chanute, or where did we play not that long ago? Middle of the, back when we were playing oh, Tonganoxie. Um, well, that's near Lawrence, right? Right. Yeah. You guys think that you would have ever been able to make it at the night at the outhouse when they were around? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, like, where Black Flag used to go, and yeah. Yeah. And now we're at uh, Strip Club. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> indoors. We like playing indoors. Nice. <laughs> outdoors is, is okay, but it gets cold and. Your fingers don't work as good, and on a trailer sometimes. And imagine your your banjo tips like yeah, no, make it, gets, it even worse. It gets bad, but we like being indoors, and we like being in a small place. Yeah, so yeah. The smaller, the better. I mean, we want the crowd right there, mm -hmm. right there. And also Hutch. I mean, every Hutch, show is different, yeah. but but a road show, I do think for a band, a road show is always a little bit cool, a little bit special. Get out with the guys. And 
Especially when you have a really unique sound and just overall stage presence, like I think you guys have. So that's awesome. Um, uh, last question. Do you guys have any uh, announcements for the future? Any new albums? Any new songs? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll still be great. <laughs> So now, we, now what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> it's called How Hutch Are You? You see, you can leave Hutch, but Hutch will never leave you. Okay. So you're going to be given a card, myself included, and it's going to have a question and an answer. You're going to ask the person next to you what uh, the question, and if they get the, uh, the answer wrong, then they have to take a bite of, where are my corn dogs? That? Thank you. So the person who gets the question wrong must take a bite of the corn dog that's soaking in a truly. Um, and that's it. If you get the question right, you don't have to do anything. So where are the cards? Oh, I have them? All right. So let's go ahead and start with Matt. And I ask you, right? And then I ask Josh, and Josh asks Mitch. Mitch asks his I wish I got Matt. This one. I okay. Know. So you're asking me? <laughs> I'm asking Mitch. No, um, well, I don't. Asking you're gonna ask me. Right, oh, okay. So, uh, I don't want to brag, but I know this one. Man. I actually got what Academy Award nominated film was shot mostly in Hutchinson, Kansas, in 1955. Oh, man. It's not gonna be corn dog. <laughs> I'm eating corn dog. <laughs> uh, mysterious skin. No. <laughs> 1955. <laughs> the answer is picnic. That's the one I knew the answer to, too. That's, I saw one, but I didn't know what question. Never mind. All right. Fuck. Oh, 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 God. It's not bad. Is it thought? Oh. It's not bad it, at all. It doesn't nope. smell bad. It's Is way it thought out. Don't yeah. Okay. You can chew through it. So. It's way better than when they when we had it soaked in PBR. Oh, oh God. I mean, I, yeah. I kind of think I'd it's like having a corn dog in like a side of fruit. Or something. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> it's like the most white trash sangria I have ever fucking seen. Right? <laughs> it's, it, that's not bad at all. All right. My turn? Okay. Josh. How many times... <laughs> what? How many times has Adrian Flores been arrested? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Is it more than two digits? <laughs> Is that your final answer? No. no. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with nine. It's a little high. So the answer is a handful. <laughs> so I'm assuming that that's wrong. So oh, here you go. <laughs> a handful. Did you that good? Well, Did that yeah. mean five? <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was no right answer, but you still have to take a bite. <laughs> no, it's not bad. Here, yeah, we'll take it out. Yeah, for, for, yeah. How good was that? It, it's not that bad. Don't lie. It's not bad. The alcohol taste is the worst part. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Matter not playing on the <laughs> We are gonna. We are gonna. Like man, <laughs> the Lord is gonna bless us <laughs> with second sight and spare us this cup. You never know. You might just guess the right oh. answer. All right. Oh, okay. see, this is a this is a good one. I don't know how to pronounce that. Which one? Okay. What late night talk show host has memorabilia? and original film footage stored away at Statica. Stratica. Statica. Jay Leno. Johnny Carson. Close. Give me them dogs. Not too close. <laughs> God. Rachel, will you are. hold my chalice? Yeah, there you get it. You get it oh. all nice and... There's something so <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Ooh, oh my God. he went in for a half bite. Just eat the whole thing. <laughs> Just let me know if you need the bucket. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Oh god, it's not that bad. No, it's not terrible. I am shocked because the, the PBR. PBR. Well, it was really warm and had been sitting oh. for like an hour the last time, so that actually made this taste way better. You just right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh. 
It's not that bad, man. It really isn't. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I might just. Oh. All right, Matt, you ready? I am ready. Oh. So How I'm many Matt. liquor stores are there in Hutchinson? Just Hutchinson. Take however much time you need. Just Hutchinson. I want to say 48. Bring the hot dogs. <laughs> Pass them down. Seven. What? Wow. Not including gas I stations. I there were seven on Monroe alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold it for you. Oh, Get you yeah. a good one. <sighs> yeah, don't take half of it like I did. It's a Friday and late, isn't it? Just the tip. You have to get some meat, did he? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got huh? some. All right. Just the tip. Oh. I have like corn dogs on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Welcome give to... a round of applause to the hot dog boys. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> the crew is unnerving. The hell... We're gonna take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we'll have a surprise brandy bowl ceremony and a performance by Duffy McGee. Hey, Rodrigo here from Crude Media. I wanted to talk about First Avenue Sessions real quick. First Avenue Sessions are a way we wanted to help build an outlet for our local scenes in the community and give some monetary power back to artists. We film live video sessions for the artists here at our studio, where we try to cultivate a unique and personal musical experience for both the audience and the artist. The sessions will premiere and you'll have 24 hours to view it for free. And after 24 hours, you'll be able to find them in our shop where sales go towards the artist and the studio. We're hoping First Avenue Sessions will allow fans to discover and support artists. Well, everybody, it's not how any of us wanted it, but after 14 months taking time away from the battle against sobriety, we return virtually to annihilate that evil enemy. The Brandy Bowl means something different to each of us, but to me, it's always been an opportunity to get together with people that I care so deeply about and treat them like shit and watch them puke. <laughs> not getting to do that this year, easily worst moment 2020. I'll make it short and sweet. Our business tonight is to in a very small way resume that battle against that ever present and ever fighting enemy that is sobriety. But before we do that we all need to bow our heads in prayer as the right reverend Josh Newfield high priest and the church of the dirty mac gives his convocation and blessing. Lord Forgive us for what we're about to do to each other and to ourselves. And keep us in your thoughts as we move on through 2021. Give us the strength to rein in our furious masturbation <laughs> and <laughs> learn how to go back out into the world and treat each other with the same righteous indignation that we have always been able to muster. And may some of these small businesses open back up and please bring back some of the some of the small restaurants around Hutch. Yeah, I don't really care about New York City that much, but just bring back some more small businesses in Hutch, please. Amen. 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 Well, now it's time to award the 2020 Hutch Kid of the Year. Uh, the Hutch Kid of the Year Award was invented to um, celebrate the achievements of the people who we think most benefit and have uh, contributed the most to Hutchinson's culture in the last year. And corn dog jokes and, and torture all, all aside, 
uh, we felt that Sage Pena truly deserved the award for coming back from Boston and uh, doing what we think is God's work uh, with crew here. So this is for you. Your your award on Brandy Bowl is more brandy. <laughs> Drink it in good health. Oh, I need it real quick. I <laughs> Let me pour some of it out. That's though. right. And this, yes, 2020 was a difficult year for everyone. I know... I don't know if we had many deaths in the in the extended family. Anybody this year? My mom. Oh. <laughs> Rush. And so John Prime. Well, John, John Prime, Prime, yeah. John Prime. Okay. Right. Um who who died around Hutch? Anyone die around Hutch? That's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That guy that, that went to your house the other night? The oh yeah, game? yeah. Um old Jason. Rest in peace, buddy. Uh, and then, oh. never want to forget uh, Johnny Jenkins, Little Liz Both, uh, Mike Newfeld. Um, anybody else? Um, truly, oh, Papa Cavillo. Yeah. And and everyone else who can't be here. Is Josh Boyer still alive? <laughs> yes, Fuck that is. guy, man. Oh, for them, you, for all of them except Josh Boyer. <laughs> all right now it's yours sage drink it in good health thank you all right we, i promise you this that this is a poor substitute for the brandy bowl and i know that and that sometime when the time is right just like a baseball game that's been rained out we will take the field and make things right but we can't let sobriety win it won't happen but until that day comes we love each and every one of you, and this is for you. So, it will, usually we would drink and pass this around, but we're just gonna have, we have our own individual. We'll drink now, and then we're gonna play our little hunch, hunch anthem. Cheers. All right. Before I introduce them to perform on Him and Hutch, I just wanna say thank you so much for considering me. I'm like fighting back tears right now. Um, I didn't really have a speech prepared, but I'm really honored um, to be called Hutch Kid of the Year. Um, I'm really, I really wasn't happy to come back to town, and then the more time went on, the more it just really felt like it was where I needed to be. Um, and I'm just really excited for the future, and I really appreciate it. Anyways, now to perform for the first time on late night television. Please give it up for Duffy McGee. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> I was, actually, I thought it tasted that really fucking good. Old burn, I can't I fucking, fucking wait to fucking drink some more. All right. <laughs> Would Jesus join me in our day? Tell the people who are gay just exactly what the way they're supposed to live their life. Would he take money from schools and put it
night. Thanks, Arch. Good night, honey. All right, that's our show. Thank you to our viewers and thank you, Duffy McGee. And remember, crude oil prices are increasing, but even after all these years, crude zine is still free. Submit to our next issue. Good night, Hutch. Thank <laughs> you.